Los Angeles to your emergency. Hi. Um, I'm at the corner of Pleasant Hill and John Young Parkway. I'm in a Walgreens parking lot. And All right, welcome. So we just did a box with app armor on it. So we're gonna look at how to bypass this app armor, right? So if we do an AA um, attack enabled, I believe it is. There we go. We'll see that yes, it is okay. So app armor is on this box, right? So if we cat, and secondly, we also have to know what shell we're in. So if we go ahead and cat that at the uh, password, right? And we are user think like right now. So we do a grep tag, I think, right? We can see that we are in an ash shell. So if we go ahead and we cat, um, I believe it's Etsy app armor dot D, and then we're going to look for that ash shell one, right? So we're going to say, I believe it's SBIN, because that's what it says, oh, user SBIN. So we'll look for user SBIN ash right there, right? So we'll see that we're denied to read an opt, we're denied to write an opt, anywhere an opt, okay? With that star star, we're denied temp. Uh, to write anywhere, okay. We are not denied in dev shm, and we are not denied to write in var temp. The reason I say that is because there's no stars behind it. So since there's not any stars behind it, we can write in those two locations, okay. So I already did in var temp. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head over to dev shm. So we'll show you like real quick. If I do, I do an ls tackle and opt. We can't see it, right? So let's go ahead and cd into slash dev shm because we already did in var temp for the video. Um, so now we're in here, right? Let's go ahead and grab a cat and we'll do a scripts uh, netcat reverse shell, right? So we go ahead and grab my IP address also for this machine for my tunnel here. Okay. And we'll go ahead and we'll throw my IP address into there. And since we don't have that star star, we can write in those two locations. So I can go ahead and I can echo test, let's say, into test.txt. And if this was stopping us, obviously we wouldn't be able to do that, but we can, right? So we can remove it, whatever we want in this dev shm area because that star star does not exist behind it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab this like right here, and we'll do a quick nano shell.sh, and we'll make this a bin bash. Okay. And then what we need to do, and this is important stuff that we actually missed during the uh, stream, and it kind of hung us up like a little bit. But we need to change mode 755 on shell.sh. All right, now we just need to run it. Period slash shell.sh, okay? Now we should have a uh, sh shell over here. So if I just do a quick full shell, I guess we could have made it a bin bash, but let's do a quick full shell over here, right? And then if I do an ls tag -L -A -L -A on opt, we can now see that we can indeed look at it because we now have a bin bash shell. We no longer have that ash shell. Okay, if we look up here, right, so if we do an ls tag la on slash opt or etsy app armor, let me just go ahead and just uh, so I can auto complete. Um, we'll go ahead and do an ls tag la. Uh, Etsy app armor D. Okay, we see that bin bash is nowhere in here, right? So bin bash is anywhere in there. So now we have the full rights that we usually have as a user, as this user like right here, right? Within these groups, the normal rights that we would have. So up here, we couldn't write to home, but we should be able to now echo. Test into slash home. All right. Oh, yeah. Test.txt. Okay, we should be. Oh, I, I should actually be able to do that. I should be able to do home touch or think. Test.txt, right? And I should be able to do things like that. I should be able to write in these different areas that I'm allowed to write in, but opt was the big one, right? So um, before this, we could actually read that this file in here. We do know it is running because of a strings and SUID bit binary and things like that. Um, but we could read it, but we couldn't do anything with it. So now we can actually do something with that. You can obviously tell if there's an SUID bit binary running with that. You know, we can then abuse it. 
uh, the Arzik right here, we just did a bash tack P, uh, bin bash tack P, which opens up a privilege shell for us. But that is going to be it for bypassing app armor. All right, so you're looking for things that don't have star star to allow you to be able to write in those areas um, and hopefully uh, thus allowing you to, uh, you know, bypass the app armor and get a full shell or whatever else you're looking for. All right, I'll talk to you all later and have a good one.